Greetings to the folks at Wright, Michigan. Uh, I'm going to try this at home today. Um, big week this week. Uh, just a quick update what's going on. This is Saul News as chairman of the Michigan Republican Party. Uh, the Presidential Selection Committee for our 2008 upcoming presidential um, elections uh, met this week and finalized rules and procedures for the presidential primary. Um, as you know, we are expecting in a bill passed this week out of the Senate Committee to move the primary to February 5th. Uh, have a joint run primary with the Democrats, and we are very, you know, we're more than cautiously optimistic, but I think we have a very good chance of having the presidential primary come down on February 5th, which will make us a major player. Another date being discussed is January 29th because Florida has moved forward, and the Democrats have said they want to move forward. If uh, the Florida Democrats move forward, Michigan Democrats will move forward. And in order for us to preserve the possibility of having a joint run primary, which would really maximize the amount of people that would participate. Uh, we want to join them. So uh, that's kind of the position that the, that the uh, party has taken. I uh, passed out a committee. We'll have to go to the full state committee here in August. Uh, this week we'll have some uh, our policy committee. Next week we'll also be reviewing this. So I think that uh, we will be finalizing all those details here uh, shortly and moving forward. As a backup position, we also agreed to have a state convention in case the presidential primary did not fall through did not go through. So that would give us a backup plan and you have to be prepared. Not that we want to do it, that's our kind of least most likely option, but uh, if the presidential primary does not work for some reason, uh, we will be prepared to move forward with the state convention and select our delegates uh, then. So uh, great work for all of those who participated. We got lots of input from a lot of people around the state and it worked very successfully. The Supreme Court this week uh, passed a ruling upholding the state law uh, requiring photo ID. Uh, just plain common sense. You are, you should be who you say you are when you show up to vote. Uh, the provision just basically says when you go to the polls, show them a picture ID. Uh, it can be a uh, driver's license, can be a state ID, can be a passport, just proving you are who you are and you get to vote. Uh, there's even the current provision on state law says that even if you don't have one, you can sign an affidavit. But that ensures that people aren't cheating and we have had the situation where dead people are voting. Uh, we've had someone who claimed they were George Bush and voted from a warehouse in Flint. So there are situations here that people abuse the system. And with so many illegal immigrants coming into the state, in this country, uh, that's going to be a growing issue as well. So a lot of action this week. Uh, again, thanks for all you do. Thanks for paying attention. Thanks for being involved. Uh, thanks for letting your legislators, congressmen, senators know where you stand on the issues. And let's keep the pressure up for good public policy to make Michigan a better place for all of us. Thanks for your time. Bye.